to create a wine and spirits e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account. And if you already have an account, you just go with login and you proceed to type in your email or your username. And after typing your email, you click on next to proceed to type in your password. So here, after typing your password, you click on login. After logging in, the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store. So it doesn't matter what name you give it now, you can always change the name later. After typing the name, click on continue. Then you proceed to answering this question. You have a question and you have three answers. You choose the answer that fits you. Then you do the same with this other question. And then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be selling. So here my store is in the niche of wine and spirits. So I'm going to choose food and drink as, as my niche. And so I'm just going to leave it in food and drink. Then I'm going to click on continue and if you can't find your category in this list, just go with other, then click on continue. And then if you already have a store in the real world, you type in the address of that store. If not, just skip this step. And then you proceed to your dashboard after they build the store. And here this is the dashboard. And in your right, you have the edit side button. Also, we have the design now button. And both of them take us to the editing phase and in your left you have nine sections and I'm going to go through each one of these sections and explain it for you starting with website where we have the edit site button again and then we have the domains button where you can set your domain name or change the one that you already have then we have the items sections the item section items section where we have the site items if you want to create new products or delete the ones that you already have then we have the site categories if you want to categorize your products or if you just want to create categories and then we have those other ones options coupons gift cards custom reviews and item preferences then we have the orders section where you can check all of your orders to see the fulfilled one the shaped one and the cancelled one and so on then we have the fulfillment section where you can set all of your fulfillment settings like the, like the pickup settings and the shipping settings then we have the reports section where you have all the reports that you need from the site's traffic site activity site items coupons and so on and if you want to see the summary of all these reports you just click on the summary button then we have the marketing section where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience starting with the email ads mailing lists setup and again if you want to see the summary of all these tools just click on summary then we have the communications section where we have the email and text alerts pop-ups messenger and abundant cards and last but not least we have the settings section where we have the general settings if you want to change your company name or your email your address or your phone number you can do all of that in this section then we have the checkout where you can set your payment processors like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal account or changing the country and the currency of your store then we have the sales taxes if you want to set your tax settings and last you have units where you can change the site's language and also you can edit your units so that's it guys for these sections let's go back to the overview and let's proceed to the to the editing phase by clicking on the edit side button and here we'll just give it a few seconds to load it will not take more than 15 seconds so just be patient with me a few seconds and here it started loading 
we have the setup guide if you want to go with it if not just ignore it it will disappear right now and it's still loading as you can see here we have the styles which is the first step of creating our store which is choosing a style from these ones so it doesn't matter what style you choose now you can change it later but just make sure to choose a good one to save time so here for this template I'm going to choose this one and check if it, if it fits with the template so I think this one is very good it will do the job then click on apply site styles then we have the site design if you want if you want to add an image to be your logo change colors and also change fonts which i'm going to change from dinap of what's its name to comforta this one and then i will make this one 18 pixels like this or 20 and they will leave it at 1.30 and it will it will leave it like this then click on done then i'm going to change the shape of the buttons and images to rounded and this one it's already rounded then click on done and if you want to change these elements you will need to upgrade your plan from the free one to the paid version and when you're done you click on done then you close this one dismiss all dismiss here you have the plus button if you want to add a new section page item and category is not available right now you will need to create first categories then we have the header if you want to change anything in it as you can see and you can do the same with this other check sections you can just click on it and you can change everything in it and here you can also hide a section or show it as you can see you can change the placement of it down or move it up as you can see so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends